Darwin brought all these people in fact to be instead of It's not a comment, John. Hi there. I'm not going to tell you where I am. I wonder if you can guess. Just want to say thank you. Thank you very much to all my fans. I, my best gardening tip today is don't do it. Let John do it. Finally, I learned the secret. See you. I'll be in town, Cambridge, the first week of September. I hope to see you all then. Bye. Keep an eye on those two. I'm going to leap down and get my phone because I might have someone coming. Soweto it wouldn't put. Wow. Right. Two thousand pounds worth of run. Alright, stand by for an extended dip. I'll try and ramble through it as long as possible, but it gets back to the retrieving of an item in the most unlikely circumstances. Alright. They're in Bosnia, and we all went to an October fest to get out It was run by the German army in, a, in, the, in the American gym core. And everyone got thoroughly ratted, including this one bloke who had been attached to us to give us a bit of a spine, called Hamish Balfour. He was a warrant officer of 29 years service, all between the parachute regiment and the SAS. And he got absolutely hammered. In addition to drinking beer with us, he was also drinking wine at the same time. He passed out. The newest bloke on duty was a sergeant in the Royal Signals. And he was told, pick up Hamish and take him home. So, this guy, fireman's lifted Hamish to the front of the British block. But what he didn't realise was Hamish was in a multinational block, just around the corner. So he put Hamish down and went to search for where Hamish lived. But when he got back, Hamish had gone. Right, so <laughs> Hamish had come round by this point, but obviously in a state of some confusion, was wandering around between all these different blocks trying to work out where he lived. But uh, they'd not been built long, and they hadn't landscaped any of the areas between it, so he was falling over in mud a lot. And he was leaving these enormous Hamish Balfour prints <laughs> all over walls. <laughs> But anyway, he eventually found his, his way back to his room where he lived with this lovely um, employee of GCHQ called Ian Nicholson. He watched this thing walk through the door and go to sleep. Anyway, the next morning, Amy wasn't at work, but he woke up and discovered that his Rolex Submariner was missing. <laughs> so he had a, it wasn't just that, it was like a gold Rolex Submariner. When he was doing Operation Haven in 1991, Establishing the Kurdish safe haven. He'd been an employee of the CIA. Do you want me to take this film in, or is that yours? Uh, 